Yo, 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 what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new F1 2021 preseason league race. Today we're racing around Spa Francorchamps with World Online Racing, uh, also known as WOR. Sorry, I choked that. Um, but um, yeah, heading out for my first qualifying run now um, on the softs. Uh, as you might know, we're not um, be able to change our tire allocation anymore on F1 2021. Uh, so we only get three sets of soft compound tires so less chance of um, nailing a qualifying lap with only three sets luckily for us on spa or luckily for everyone on spa you only get uh, three runs in anyway so doesn't really make a big difference around spa but yeah uh, heading into this race um, didn't really practice a lot again just like uh, the last two races because simply uh, it's a pre-season race, so just about learning new things and uh, getting used to the new tracks or changes to the tracks, um, new car handling, etc, etc. Uh, a lot of people are already on a lap. Um, I think we're gonna have to let a lot of cars by that are on a push lap, so that's not ideal. Um, Vendex for the shot, mate. On our outlap, um, not the ideal outlap preparation, of course. Um, as you just want to have clean air and prepare your tires without any traffic you can see I'm running wide here to not distract Tomac who was on a lap and then I think there's another Austin Martin on a lap behind me catching him very fast um, so yeah not ideal but just want to give them as much space everyone as possible everyone is so close to each other as you can even say everyone is super close what? to each other um, and then on the other part of the track there are massive gaps um, between everyone so, oh, I'm bot <laughs> bottoming out. Uh, as you can hear me say, I'm bottoming out, which is um, new to this game, of course. Uh, on this game, you're bottoming out a lot faster on curb stones than before. As John goes P1 with a 40.194, and Thomas Harvey ahead of us is on a push lap as well. Um, I think Thomas Harvey used to be an Xbox driver, but driving under a different name. So, never seen his name before, but... Um, I'm quite sure he's been in the league racing scene for a really long time already. Just under a new name now. Anyway, turn one. Uh, a bit of a wiggle on the exit, but other than that, pretty solid. Um, we're looking to get maybe a 40.1 in as a banker. That would be pretty good, I think so. Um, opening the DRS for the first time, getting past Thomas Harvey uh, on the long camel straight into the second sector. Breaking at 50 uh, on the 50 meter board. 29.846, which is pretty solid um, through this next right-hander on the limit of the track and then downhill braking was easy to lock up uh, the right front we didn't we managed to get it nicely um, rotated around there again bit of oversteer on exit but nothing major into pool now gotta keep it in seventh gear and get a turn in right it's a little bit downhill so easy to understeer off the track as we get past infamous um, which I think is Shanaka Clay, but just on under his gamer name kind of thing. Um, anyway, heading in, into the final sector, 112.1 um, is what we have going into the final sector. I think on a good final run, you're on a 111.8, something like that. Um, so not bad for a banker. Into the final bust up chicane, now breaking at 100 meters board. And then down to second gear, um, get the car rotated nicely. We didn't, we missed the apex a little bit in the final left-hander. It's 140.1, which puts us P3 behind Andreas yep. Dormeyer and Infamous. Um, so pretty solid banker, pretty happy with that. As Just as we skipped through, Jake um, went above us. And now he sets the fast level of the race, or not the race, sorry, qualifying with a 139.7. Um, and we are improving as well in this final run, but not as much as Jake. We did a 139.7 uh, into the final chicane, second gear, and this time we do get a turn in right. Um, not too much steering lock, didn't went over the limit of the front tires this time. It's a 39.9, which puts us P4 behind Infamous and Samuel Bean and our teammate um, Jake Benham. So now preparing our final push lap then, 23 seconds remaining on the clock. And you want to get a good run of this final corner, of course. 
Um, taking a wide exit line to carry more speed into a push lap. And then you want to brake just after that 100 meter board. Uh, down to second gear. Get a car rotate nicely. And we get pretty good traction of that final corner. And we're gaining around 200 with that into a rouge. And then this is all easy flat. A rouge and Radion. Um, I have no idea what my last first split was. But I remember it was pretty good. So I think our first split is going to be very good. Um, with a 200 improvement. You can see 1400s down on some Bean. Which is basically... Almost nothing. Um, of course, every little bit counts on this level. And now into uh, the next right hander. I have no idea about corner names. I'm really bad with con corner names. Um, but we are gaining a lot of time. I remember last lap we made a little mistake in this downhill left hander. So we gained half a tenth through there. And now looking to improve in pool one as well. You can see another half a tenth gain through pool one. Into the next chicane. Down to fourth gear. Use that inside curb to get a car rotated. Easy to lose the back end though. You can see you have to correct a little bit. And we lost a little bit of time on that left hander. Carried good momentum through that right hander. You can see we're carrying the momentum onto this next straight towards Blanchimont. Um, 7.5 hundreds up as we head towards bus stop, which should put us around P3, P2. Currently, we would go ahead of Samuel Bean. Um, Jake Benham, I think, is still. On a lap, just finished, as you can see in the left bottom, but he did not improve. So, coming across the line, it is going to be a 139.877, and it right. puts us P3 right. out of Samuel Bean uh, and Infamous, but behind Tomek Porazis and Jake Penham. So, pretty solid qualifying um, behind Tomek and Jake. Uh, Spa is, or well, on Spa, qualifying is not very important. So, um, I'm happy with that, P3. Um, not a lot of F1 Esports drivers in here. It's mainly uh, either test drivers for F1 Esports or uh, Challenger Series drivers or just league racers in general. Um, now, on to the race. Um, I'm going to put 22 laps of fuel because the race is 22 laps. Um, strategy is soft to medium. I've no idea if 22 laps of fuel is going to be enough. Um, but we're going to find that out towards the end of the race. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I didn't do any race laps, so... We are heading into it completely blind, but um, we're do just doing these preseason league races for practice and not to get uh, amazing results or uh, absolutely dominate the race. So, um, formation lap done and dusted, tires are warmed up. I wanted you to win this race, no I don't. <laughs> uh, as Marshall said, he doesn't want me to win this race anymore. I was trolling him I before. Like um, sorry Marcel, it happens. But now, lining up P3 in the grid, ahead of Samuel Bean, Infamous, and behind Tomek Porazis in the McLaren, and behind our teammate Jake Penham in the Mercedes. Um, not going to be an easy race, soft, medium. Um, should be easy. Uh, don't think we will have to use the hearts. So, soft, medium, it's going to be the strategy. Anyway, let's go towards the start of the race now. It's going to be five red lights, and away we go for the preseason league race from WOR into turn one. I'm gonna have a little look down the inside of Tomek, not to attack him, but just to defend my own position. Bit of wheel spin out of that first corner, but we managed to stay in P3. Um, I decided to turn off the overtake button into a rouge, as uh, we can't get overtaken into a rouge anyway, um, because simply we will defend and make our car as wide as possible. Some will been getting really close behind me uh, into um, the first corner of sector 2 but didn't want to attack I think the same as us just don't want to attack just yet we just want to um, get through those first few laps save the tires and then attack uh, later on in the race don't need to lead any of the laps um, until the last lap basically so now half a second behind Tomek Pratsis, Samuel Bean still two and a half tenths behind us. So we were not very fast through that uh, section as we lost two and a half tenths to Tomek um, in that section. And uh, Samuel is absolutely on our gearbox, even though he is having an absolute shit ton of dirty air. So we're not really very fast through there. And as you can see in the bottom right, we are already losing uh, a bit of fuel to the, the Delta. Uh, we're already on minus 
0.02 which means we're probably gonna have to do some lift and coast which is all right um, also DRS is probably gonna help save some fuel um, and it also m would make lift and coast a little bit easier um, as you have less drag so um, probably gonna have to do some lift and coast in the coming laps and then um, towards the last 25% of the race we can just absolutely floor it um, in the hope we have saved enough fuel now on to the start of lap 6 uh, Tomek got past Jake uh, I think one or two laps ago but now uh, Jake is gonna want that P1 position back we're getting closer to the pit stop phase which should be coming uh, end of lap 7 or 8 um, and then it will be easy to um, get to the end of the race on the mediums now, Jake going for it on Tomek Poratsis again. I'm not going to attack just yet. I want to have 100% ERS and go a little bit longer on these tires. So I'm going to save them. Lift and coast. So um, we can absolutely floor it towards the end of the race. Uh, as we then will have enough fuel saves probably. But we keep doing a little bit more lift and coast in the coming laps. 93% uh, on the ERS, which we might use um, as the others start to pit. Now... Coming towards the end of lap 7, pit stop window is probably open now. Uh, I think so, at least knowing from previous games. And as you can see, going into the bus stop, both Tomek and Jake coming into the pits. Uh, I lost a little bit of time as I got stuck behind Tomek in that bus stop chicane. Uh, and now Infamous stays out as well. Um, so that's going to be interesting. I think Samuel being pitted end of lap 6. So uh, a lot of people going for the undercut. We are staying out for another lap. So we have fresher tires towards the end of the race. Uh, infamous staying out with us and Andreas Dormeyer the last of the soft runners I think so um, so it's gonna be interesting Thomas Harvey on the hard compound of tires which is really interesting did not expect to see anyone on the hards but um, it's working out for him I guess infamous um, closing a little bit in on us with that DRS and our tires are really dropping off now the rears are screaming for help um, as they're nearing the 8 lap mark and of course they have done qualifying as well you can see just as we went through the right hand in the bottom right the tire wear indicator came on which means we have reached 60% tire wear um, which is not that much or not that close to uh, puncture territory but we will be losing time um, compared to the new medium runners as I completely run wide in pool on uh, Tom97 retired from this race uh, he later on told me that he spun three times in the opening lap uh, so he's having a rough time getting adapted to uh, league racing on F1 2021 uh, but that's why we're doing these pre-season races so people can get used we are boxing at the end of this lap you see rear left getting pretty hot um, as we are out of ERS for this lap I push as hard as I can to minimize getting undercut by other people um, but other people are probably gonna be pushing on that out lap as well you see we've got 0.14 laps of fuel saved up with that lift and coast as uh, so we have to slow down for a pit entry of course coming into the pits now medium tires come on we should not get held here uh, it should be a clean pit stop 2.6 uh, I think on multiplayer everyone has 2.5 or 2.6 I think it's all equal which is amazing unfortunately people can still get held um, which I don't agree with but um, now on to the pit exit then Infamous coming out behind Tomek, but Tomek comes out just behind us and he's gonna get DRS on the long camel straight So I have no idea what happened to Tomek on that outlap, but we overcut him. So maybe oh, you can help him pit stop As I tried to get out of the way of Tomek, I but to let him by. I think we both thought the same thing <laughs> He wants to go to the left. Uh, I want to go to the left as well So that was not a deal, but now uh, Tomek gets past us um, And up to a net P3 Goes Tomek. Samuel Bean in a net P2. Uh, a lot of people ahead of us still have to pit. So now on to the end of lap 9. So the end of our out lap. Uh, we have caught up to Tomek again a little bit more. And we're going to be pushing to try and get past him here. Uh, on Camel straight. Tomek with the fastest lap of the race. 42.8. But uh, he did use a lot of his ERS on that uh, push lap. To try and undercut us of course. And on the out lap. And now we're going to use our ERS up Orouge and Radio to try and overtake him again. He is going to get DRS from Samuel Bean, but still we have so much more ERS. You can see his rear light starts flashing, and we still have 43%. Now, going side by side 
on camel straight. What the and fuck is he doing? We hit. And that is Tomek out of the race. We went purple through sector one though. Why does he drive uh, into me in the straight? Uh, so yeah, now we're up to a net P3. Um, unfortunate incident. Uh, I will show some screenshots on the replay the I saved from the race. Um, you can see here, we had a little tap and that um, destroyed the balance of my car, which then made me wiggle on the straight and that took Tomek out that thing. So I think he bounced really off my car. So unfortunate, you can see there, um, wheel to wheel, which unsettled um, both cars, I think so. And that only made things worse. So unfortunate, but we continue. Tomek is out of this race as he went into the wall. Um, we've got to push on and try to focus again and catch up to Samuel Bean um, in the Alpha Tauri. Now, one lap later. No, that's not ideal. Uh, Tom. As Tom was in my chat, he raided me. So, thanks Tom for the raid uh, on my live stream. Um, now, we've caught up to Samuel Bean, we still has DRS, but we have to try and get past him so we get into a net P2. P2 in this race is going to be important uh, because either P1 or P2 is going to win the race in the final lap. Um, so we really have to, have to get in the P2 and get that DRS as um, Jake has caught up to someone who has not made a pit stop yet. We are Samuel Bean, Samuel Liber. As I made an absolute dumb comment there. Samuel Bean is not Samuel Oliver, but yeah, I... Uh, is just someone who used to race under a different name? Samuel Bean, I think used to race in a Brazilian league. I searched him up after the race. Janu for the sub night. Um, but he was absolutely rapid oh, uh, today in this race. As Carter Lundy had a little bit of an off there um, and went into the wall. Now Louis Welch uh, ahead of us has not made a pit stop yet. And we have to try and get past him on track here. Um, pit stop window is opened for the medium runners. So they can make a pit stop to the softs now. But yeah, we have to get past him on pure speed. Which should not be an issue. Um, it will be even easier if he pits at the end of his lap. But I'm not going to try and pass him uh, towards Blanchimo. Because uh, we want the DRS of course. And Jake is too far ahead to get DRS for us. So... I'm gonna stay behind. You saw me use a little bit of ERS. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go for a move towards the bus stop chicane, but you can see me here coming out of Blanchimo, pull out of the slipstream because I'm gonna stay behind for the DRS towards Camel Straight. You saw his rear light uh, flash for a brief moment, but then he dives into the pitch. Uh, <laughs> you can see my face. Uh, that's not ideal because now we don't have, or most likely not gonna get DRS uh, on Camel Straight. Uh, but luckily we got it on this little main straight. And we got turn one pretty right, a little bit of oversteer, but we send it so hard with the ERS and the DRS that we managed to get DRS anyway from Jake Benham. And he's not going to get DRS, so we're going to make some proper grounds here on Camel Straight to watch him. DRS is massively, massively powerful screen. here, of course, as uh, it's a very long straight. So, Infamous now... St oh, sorry, not Infamous. Samuel Bean, uh, still four and a half tenths behind us. And we caught up three tenths towards... Jake Benham just on that lap and now moving on uh, another lap later you can oh, see Yana Kinsey getting a massive snap of oversteer and uh, now this bunches up the pack completely Jake trying to go around the outside What's here the going on? and we're stuck going through this right hander behind Yana Kinsey on those old mediums um, I wouldn't be surprised if he pitched this lap as the pit window is opened already for like two laps oh, for this off and now everyone is so close that it's absolute massive slipstreaming going towards the bus of chicane infamous going down the inside of me but he decides to think better of it obviously going three wide into the bus stop would have been carnage and he realizes that as well um, but now uh, on to the start of lap 14 we're pretty close by in Jake but I want to save a little bit more fuel as infamous and Samo Bean touching into turn one and wouldn't be surprised if one or the other has damage. Well, so, yeah. Uh, Jake was pretty pushing it with the ERS to watch Orouge and Radion, so I had to use a little bit. But now I'm gonna probably lift and coast here. As you can see, 
to um, save some more fuel and then we can absolutely send it in the final laps um, and not have to worry about lift and coast anymore in the final 3-4 laps. So gonna charge up my ERS, save a little bit more fuel, save my rear tires and then absolutely send it. Um, as you can see now closing into the final stages of this race um, end of lap 16 and we have 100% ERS so I might go for a move here um, on Camel Straight. We got DRS on this little main straight, which doesn't gain you a lot, but every little bit helps, of course. And now out of turn one, four tenths behind Jake, and this should be enough to overtake him. Three and a half tenths going into Orouge, uh -huh. and we're going to gain three tenths alone with the DRS. As Samuel Bean, I think, is out of this race, or has very heavy wing damage, so I'm not sure what has happened to him. Um, but into the next chicane, easy pass on Jake Benham. And up to P1 we go uh, for, I think, the first time oh, on this game in a preseason league yeah. race that we're leading. Um, obviously, on Silverstone, we had an absolute nightmare. And um, on Barcelona and PCO, it wasn't great as well. I still need to upload that race as well, but that will be coming um, not tomorrow, but the day after. So now, Jake, four and a half tens behind us going into Arouge again. So... You can see going up the hill, he's pushing it with his ERS. And I think that's because Infamous is using all of his ERS to try and get past Jake. Um, and I don't want to get double overtaken here because I want to stay at least in P1 or P2. Infamous goes down the inside, but we had a little bit more space on the outside uh, to break deeper into the corner. So we managed to stay P2. Um, but yeah, first time leading a race or at least being a net race lead. Um, of course before the pit stops we were leading but that's not the net race lead um, so yeah now on to the end of lap 20 um, we almost have 100% ERS again um, as we are going to get DRS again on this little straight and the question is now do we want to pass Jake on this lap and risk it to not get overtaken in the final lap on Camel straight or do we stay behind because um, basically whoever leads going into the final lap um, is most likely not going to win because you're going to gain so much time with the slipstream and DRS that it is very risky and very unlikely you're going to win if you lead going into the final lap but we're still going to do it as we have so much ERS I felt like we might be able to pull the gap in the middle sector and in the final sector to be clear going on to Camel Straight um, but that's a huge risk of course and we are going to take that risk Samuel Bean with the fast lap of the race probably has made another pit stop because of damage and now it's so important we nail this final um, not final sector uh, this middle sector and this final sector to expand the gap as much as we can so we are clear on camel straight we're gonna be pushing the limits we don't want to make any mistakes because that might cost us the race win here into next again a little bit of oversteer you can see I had to correct before it stepped out and pushing the track limits on the next left hander a little bit wide here, not ideal, but two tenths up on our previous bass lap. Six tenths, almost seven tenths as we head towards Blanchimo. Um, we're almost out of ERS for this lap. You can see the little top bar in the bottom left uh, is almost empty, which means we've almost reached our maximum ERS deployment of this lap. Heading in towards the bus, bus stop chicane, we're only five tenths clear, which should not be enough as... Jake is going to get DRS on this little straight again. And we are out of ERS for this lap. Which was just not very well managed by me. Because now he gains another tenth into turn 1. And going into turn 1 we are only 4 tenths clear. You can see 3.5 tenths. But then we get a pretty good exit. A little bit of a moment though. Which might cost us the race win here. I'm going to go weaving to try and break the toe into a rouge. And going up the hill you can see Jake keeps gaining and gaining because of the slipstream. And we might not have enough here. Jake... Turns on the DRS and he's closing in, closing in as we head into the next chicane. We go side by side, he squeezes us a little bit, a little bit of a moment, but Jake's got a moment as well around the outside in the next right-hander. And we are going to have more momentum down the hill. We cover him off and we're leading into the middle sector, which is crucial because now we have track position. No more DRS zones coming up and this is all we needed. No ERS uses for the rest of the lap. There's one more big straight coming up, which is towards Blanchimo and the bus stop chicane. So we're going to save our ERS for that final straight. Jake and Infamous 
Might go side by side here, maybe. No, Infamous not close enough. But Infamous only 1.5 seconds behind Jake. So he might go for a move as well. But he has that 3 second penalty. Now, final straight coming up. Final sector of this race. We're gonna turn on the overtake button. We are gonna run out of ERS before the bus stop chicane. But we have to use it all. As otherwise, Jake might tuck in our slips. And you can see how much he's gaining towards the final bus stop chicane. It's 4 tenths, 3.5 tenths. But we are gonna be just clear into the final bus stop chicane. And coming towards the final corner. It's gonna be P1 for the first time on F1 2021. Vamos. As you can even say, vamos. <laughs> we win for the first time on this game. Very, very close though to not winning the r this race. If Jake would have not have that overseer moment, we would have not driver won the race. Day, Thomas Harvey. But he has a Jarno emote, so that means I'm actually driver of the day. As you can even say, Thomas Harvey driver of the day. Very, very good job from him. He went from P11 to p4 or p3 i think so i'm Logic. not 100 percent no exactly. p4 as you can see the austin martin nice champagne uh, suit <laughs> from infamous is uh, on p3 so uh, very exciting race there in the end <laughs> gg to jake absolute epic battle with him um was a mega fun race hope you guys enjoyed as well make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more league racing of course loads more coming i'm going to be uploading psgl preseason league race as well um, Mid-August, the actual league racing season will start. So, absolutely epic that is going to be. Thomas Harvey, very nice comeback from P12 to P4 on the uh, hard compound he started. So, mega drive from him. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the preseason league race. And see you guys next time. Ciao.